folks, Chris Lafine with You Betch Outdoors here. The purpose of today's video is just to show you a little rack that I made to help get my fish houses up off the ground. Uh, last night I put together one for my one man fish house, and tonight the plan is to make one for my big fish house, the Jason Mitchell Thermal X. So, uh, yeah, just gonna do a quick little video, show you what I did. Pretty simple. Uh, first, let's take a look at the one man fish house. So, as you can see, there's the rack that I put together. Pretty simple. I uh, got some 2x4s and I was pretty excited because the 2x4s actually fit perfectly in the grooves of the sled, you can see there. So I ran those a little bit longer than the total length of my fish house. Um, and then I put a cup, another piece going across to connect the two, right there, right there. And to get it up off the ground, I bought a little bike hoist from Menards. Uh, I think it was about 15-20 bucks. Pretty simple. A couple of pulleys on each end and uh, the rope connects to the wall there. Or you can hook it up to the wall there when you're done. So that's what I did last night. Tonight I'll just show you the steps that I'm gonna use to make one for the big house. I do have it up off the ground right now, but as you can see, I'm using two ratchet straps to keep it that way. And not really the most sturdy way to keep things up off the ground. So I'm going to replace the ratchet straps with some 2x4s and uh, hold tight and I'll show you how I did it. Alright everyone, it's a pretty simple setup. You need a saw, I just happen to have a miter saw, and uh, some 2x4s. I have a couple eye bolts that I put on the cross pieces because as you'll see the kayak hoist which is what I've run for this fish house a little bit heavier duty has some hooks on it so what I'll be able to do is hook that eye bolt right on there and then that'll connect to that cross piece so I'm not going to show you a step by step but uh, I'll do a little time lapse video and you'll get the idea I uh, will have the two two pieces of 2x4 go on the length of the fish house and then two cross pieces of 2x4 which will have the eye bolts connected to it which will then hook up to the hoist. So we'll do a little time lapse video of the construction process and uh, show you the final product. Alright folks, well, project's all done. Might make a few modifications. My cross piece didn't end up quite as long as I had hoped. Hope to get this piece all the way to the edge of the little groove that sits in. But uh, I'll evaluate that and make a decision on whether or not I'm going to fix that. Otherwise, really happy with how it turned out. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's a little more level, a little more confident in the stability of it overall. So, anyways, hopefully this has given some of you an idea of how to keep your fish house up off the ground and make some more space in your garage. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time on You Betcha Outdoors.